Is when, this like a Barbara Walters interview? Am I supposed to look away from the camera or like at the camera? Or oh, like, very, very. I mean, like, just yeah, yeah just talk, just talk, talk, us. talk naturally. Look at us. If you have yeah. to look at the net camera, if you, you want, want to address the audience, the camera is your yeah. Fine. Can I have offense moments and be like, yeah? If you want to do like. <laughs> 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 so did you have fun karaoke? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you can totally do that. Everyone went to Yorgos on Thursdays for the wings. <laughs> so we would just go for wings and just ha just happened to be karaoke going on. And a few people from Under Armour, which was so funny because some of them couldn't sing, some of them could, but mm -hmm. they like drug me out. They're like, you should sing a song or something. And I was like, okay. And I tried it and I did Katy Perry. Um, oh man, I'm trying to think of the song I did. You gotta help me out. That one. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Oh, that's what you get for waking up in yeah. Vegas. Yeah, waking up in Vegas. That's what it is. That was my very first song that I did. Uh -huh. And so, when, when was that? Uh, I swear it was like a month after I turned 21. Okay. So. Still like about senior year. Yeah. somehow uh, later on in my life not necessarily a recording artist not necessarily a pop star but just to sing and so karaoke definitely gives me the opportunity to like see how people react or give me a gauge as to how people will react let me know you know what I need to work on whether it's my vocal skill or whether it's performance whether I need to work on captivating people more and keeping their attention um, I would say yeah it's a learning experience I'm able to like take that and then better myself, uh, better my performance. When I sing. told you guys this story um, singing with my hairbrush jumping up and down on my mom's bed yeah. singing Whitney Houston Celine Dion Mariah Carey yes. like yeah those are the only ones I could listen I remember cassette tapes oh I know whoa what is that <laughs> but yes they're the only cassette tapes I had and they were the only ones I could listen to I did a little chorus in uh, middle school and high school but nothing like contemporary it was just like kind of operatic or just you know choral singing it wasn't acapella we weren't singing any pop songs, it was just like show tunes and general stuff like that. I didn't really pursue it after high school because I didn't really enjoy doing it. Okay. And I didn't think I was talented at all. People mm -hmm. told me otherwise, but I didn't believe them. I see. I see. And ever since then, it's been more of a singing in the shower or singing on guitar hero rock band kind of thing. I mean, the shower has great uh, acoustics. Yeah, so it's got great acoustics, great reverb knocking off of the tiles. Exactly. <laughs> I've always wanted to sing. I was in a chorus when I was like in elementary school, and um, I never really continued after that. And just like Mus, I would sing in the showers, great acoustics. Great place, huh? radio. Oh, with the radio, um, like in my car, okay. you know, like or in the shower. Yeah. You, you great know. acoustics. We, yep. did, we went over this last night. We went great over. This. We all said <laughs> we in the shower. With musical theater, it's like, these are the notes, these are what you do, don't stray from the music. So that was, it was just kind of solidified. And with karaoke, you could 
insert other people's names or maybe the location you're at or have a little bit more it's more lenient and more fun so I would throw in my friends names instead of like a, it would say she I'd be like Steph and I'd be like oh that's me <laughs> <laughs> I always tell my friends if I tur- insert your name in a song you're we're good friends <laughs> so yeah it's just it was made it more personal like saying oh I'm at the tally ho instead of or um, cause I know at, at last, um, I'm like, here we are at the tally ho. <laughs> It just depends on what I'm feeling, I guess. In my daily life, I mean, personally, I just have the sense that I don't necessarily have much, you know, to offer uh, most of the time, um, unless I'm in a special context, like I'm in a class and then I have analysis to offer, or I'm talking to my friends and then I have, you know, um, really everything to offer. But when I get called for a song that I've put into the, the queue, um, and I go up, that, that moment that I get out of the chair, there's a shift in feeling, and I, I realize that the focus is now on me, I realize that, you know, I'm going to be um, doing something that is going to be watched, is going to be listened to. It really makes me feel as if I have power and an ability that I never get to express most of the time, that I never get to use most of the time. And it allows me to really feel like I have something of worth. to sing but don't have anywhere to really let out that that desire I guess any anywhere that would fulfill that um, or if they do like you know they, they want something else they want a stage that's a little bit more informal where they can have an audience that's not going to really judge them or an audience that's going to be a little bit more open to them making mistakes and the pressure of giving a good performance is really off it's not really about that it's more about you know just getting on stage and doing your thing social side of yourself like in an incredibly safe environment a person that's very shy normally can get up on a stage and sing karaoke and seem incredibly charismatic out of nowhere and then goes back to normal the second that the night is over Mm -hmm. but in that one moment it creates a kind of alternate persona of just like this rock star yeah of being up on that stage and singing that song and having all the people cheer it's just kind of a magical experience and it's kind of for society as a whole it's kind of like a way of like boosting one's self-confidence and maybe even getting one's interest back into like actual singing instead of like singing in the shower i guess i would say give it a try if you haven't and if the you know if 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 the experience is like presented to you and you're able to do it, definitely go for it. It might seem nerve wracking, but you 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 create you you're touching someone. You know you're creating you're bonding with someone out there in the crowd that's hearing you. It might be their favorite song, 
maybe they sang that song at a wedding maybe that was their first first you know solo when they were a kid and you don't know where that relationship could take off to so karaoke is fun kids do karaoke i would say to go and feel the atmosphere because if you're not comfortable to sing you're not going to get up there because <laughs> i remember the first i went to your ghost but i didn't sing um it was a few weeks after that my friends finally drug me up i had to like get used to the atmosphere because it is different um if you feel the need to drink or have a few shots before, do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause and the ladies and gentlemen, that was Sam, Ryan, and Tanya. 